Okay, this is part two. The open relationship is the only thing that works from my viewpoint. You know, other people have other opinions on this. But this is how I view it and I will explain in detail why I view it that, like that. Because you cannot, I've, I've seen so many comments from women that are spying on their men and their boyfriends or husbands. They are actually spying on them, like they all go into their computers. I think this a, that is a terrible violation of their boundaries. So, you know, leave the, leave your boyfriends and your men alone. Let them flirt with other women. Let them lust after other women. Don't worry about it, you know. So what matters is that you have a good friendship, you know, that... If, and if he's not attracted to you anymore and you need a man who's attracted to you, then break free. And, you know, why bother with someone who is not attracted to you? That doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, and if you are always aiming for a man who is socially accepted as socially regarded as the super guy or whatever you know that you need to start to question this first of all you know so yeah why do you have to aim at having a man who is the super duper popular kind of guy why not aim at having a man who is who is a bit nerdier, a bit dorkier, a bit more reclusive, a bit more content with hobbies and kinder and into you and loving you on every level, you know. So a lot of one that this goes again into another subject. There's so many subjects that split off from this theme. So, but the open relationship is the only way there is. You cannot control someone else, okay? There's also this really a breach of boundaries if you spy on your partner, who, whatever partner that is, could also be a business partner. Any, any kind of relationship, you know, if you, you really break the rules, you 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 transgress the boundaries if you spy on someone okay that that goes that really crosses the line of that person's personal sphere of privacy and beingness yeah so you cannot do this so that's not an option that's <laughs> you can't control your way through life okay this is not going to work at all Okay, so you need to meditate and you need to do an introspection and you need to find out what you really need and want. And when you don't have it, you can let yourself cry over it. You can say, I don't have that, what I'm wanting, and I feel sorry for myself. You can let yourself s feel sorry for yourself in that moment. Breathe with it sit straight you know meditate on it allow it to happen that's a real form of meditation not focusing on some not just focusing on your breath or focusing on some kind of mantra or sound or object you can do that too but the real meditation is is the one where you allow your brain and your unconscious to speak to you really come completely clean and to the surface with what you really really want what your body really needs and wants you know that this this is one thing you know what you want what you really want and need what you really want and need you know if you are a woman like myself who 
needs to be really, really loved and wanted and respected, who needs physical touch and who needs he needs the feel this connection with a man and who wants to feel sensual and who wants to be who you are you know as the sensual woman that you are you know the full woman and not be shamed by, by your mother or by someone else, you know, just because they think that's ordinary, you know. They think ordinary women don't um, wear tight clothes, you know. Uh, they don't show their curves. They will put a baggy vest on or jacket or something like this, you know. So what, feel it. What do you really want? Do you want to show off? Do you want to have fat on you or did society or your mother bully you into anorexia and they told you where it got drilled so deep into you that you think that the only way you can feel beautiful is if your collarbone shows you know so it's again it goes splits off from the main theme but all of these subjects must be addressed. Those are absolutely important. So the way every living being really feels, I know this instinctively. Okay, if you are a straight woman like myself and a girly woman who is very sensual, then you want to have, you want to eat you want to enjoy food, you want to enjoy cuddling, you want to be sensual, okay? You want a man to want you. There's nothing shameful about this, okay? So, but pick one who is, who really, really loves you and respects you and who cares about you, you know? So that's very, very important definitely 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 important so meditate on what you really want you know and in general whoever you're with the the open relationship is the only way to do it okay what do i what do i mean by open relationship i mean you cannot spy on someone okay you have to allow that other person whoever you are whether you're man or woman gay or straight, you know, you have to allow your romantic partner to be themselves, be the way they are, and and also date someone else if that is what they want. For me personally, if I am with a man in a, in this, if I was in a sexual relationship, which I am not at this point, moment right now but maybe in the future okay then i would want i would want my man to be free and date others if that is what he wants but not in our house okay so not in my vicinity not in front of my i once i dated this guy and on the first date he was already flirting with women right in front of me i thought that was that was that was almost hilarious you know so i was like okay it's just like you know a casual thing okay so of course you know you want to feel special you want to feel loved and respected and your man show this is my view on it you know your man should show you that respect and and put you as number one you know if that's if you are the one he shares the house with and domestic life and domestic love and and eating together and sleeping next to each other in a king-size bed or 
you know, just living with each other, you know. He should have that respect and you should have that respect too, not to flirt with someone else in front of him, you know. So, or he flirting with a woman in front of you, that's not okay. But when he is at his office or when he is on some kind of dude vacation with his buddy friends, then you have to allow him to do what he wants to do, you know. So it would be nice, you know, if he has enough respect for you to you to do safe sex with whoever he meets, you know, would be nice. And uh, so that he doesn't contaminate you with some STD. So that's very important, you know. But whatever he wants to do, you know, as long it is, it as long as he is doing this outside of your vicinity, outside of your house, outside of your house that you have together, outside of, also outside of the neighborhood, where you know, you don't. It would be best, you know. The man who cheats does it like that, so, but, you know, so, but we don't want to see it as cheating, you know, it's just his natural needs that he's following, and he should do this somewhere else, you know, it, it should be away from your sight, so, and that's how I view it, that's how it should be done, and the same for you, you know. If you are at your office and you are a straight woman and you and you have some hot guy working there for you and you are a boss working, being a CEO lady wearing Marc Jacobs decadent and you want to have an affair with your male secretary and then you should be able to sh you should be allowed to do this you know and your husband doesn't have any business in spying on you you know so so as long as this is this is concealed away from his view and you know so so then when someone says to him oh i saw your wife she has an affair with her secretary. Oh, isn't this awful? Then he can say, in an open relationship, then he can say, that's her business. Let her do what she wants to do. And and if the other person wants to make a drama out of it, it then it's not going to hurt him, you know, and vice versa. So, you know, let them gossip and you just say, that's his business or that's her business. So, and that's how it should be handled, and that's the only way to handle it. There's no, in, there's no other way to handle it. And again, I recommend to not have children. I really, really highly recommend this, you know, for anyone who, who wants to have another living being in the house that they want to take care of, and, you know, we we have a mother instinct in us. We want to take care of a baby being, you know. So we get a big fat dog baby being, you know, with a big fat belly, like the the European Basset Hound, you know, or any other dog. You can get a pity. There are so many pities that that are waiting for a loving home, you know. You can you can have that big big belly baby in your arms and and live out your mother instinct in that way you know take the beings that are already there that are waiting for a mommy you know to love them unconditionally you know take one of those and 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 question your religion question your social society and all of these things you know what other people tell you and the, the traditions and all of this question this and go with unconditional love through this life okay so you guys take care bye bye